if you have a drop down or select thing and I'm going to have uh, you know one uh, button on clicking the button I should get records so let's go ahead and create then so I'm going to say input ID equal to object so I'm just going to copy this alright so, so this is pretty much it another button in my HTML page on click of that I'm calling an method get products which I am not written in yet we are going to do it together and then I have a drop down list box which is going to be populated once I click the you know green products so let's go ahead and do it so right now uh, so we will start writing you know our jQuery so jQuery before uh, you know going out with jQuery what I'm, uh, I would like to do is I'm just going to use NuGet so that you know I can include my uh, all the you know jQuery stuff and it can actually automatically take uh, you know include the references and everything. So okay, so I can't check it here. I will install this one. Okay, that's done now, so let's go ahead and close this one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so we are going to add the reference to the jQuery. Okay, so let's go. Let's see. So let's run to But using jQuery, you know, you know, uh, you cannot just do like this. Uh, you cannot in itself, and you have to, you know, uh, um, do like this. You know, in the script tag, um, like this. You cannot just self -made. This is how it works. So we have to take care of that one. So we have just reference the uh, jQuery uh, JavaScript files. Okay. So next thing we are going to write on script. Okay. So script. So right now what we are going to do is the first thing we are going to do is we are going to say jQuery dot support true. This will uh, let us, you know, uh, this is going to specify the cross domain access uh, on the client side. And so this is not actually the recommended way, but right now we are doing it. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, this is, we have just specified, okay, uh, this is the cross domain thing. And the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create our function that is get products. So let's copy get products here and come here and say function. So we will just specify our URL 
So uh, I'm just going to, you know, uh, I'm going to specify it. So here, what is it I'm going to do here? I'm going to define the URL here. And I'm going to specify what is going to be the type of request. Once I'm done with the type of request, then I'm going to uh, define the content type and the data type. Then um, once I'm, I have defined the you know, URL, the request type, and uh, the content type and the data type, what I'm going to do, I will get the data and just going to render the same data inside our drop down so i'm just going to you know to save some time i'm just going to copy paste the code here okay so right now we have defined the url oh sorry we cannot just go ahead so right now we have defined the url on the type the data uh, and the content type the data type and process data and after that we are going to have a look at another if it is successful, then what is it going to do with that? Okay. So if it is successful, what we are saying, we are going to get the data inside using this callback. Then we are going to iterate through each data element and then uh, what we are doing here, we are appending the item okay, to the uh, drop down. So the drop down ID or the select ID is JDL.123, so we are appending the option. Okay, we are creating a new option uh, by iterating through the data what we are getting from the you know uh, uh, JSON response. Then we are going to append the data and say that. So, and um, if error, if in, by any chance there are any errors, so what is going to be there? So, I'm just doing it. Okay, so this is uh, our jQuery market data set. So let's uh, go ahead and see. Uh, so I'm not going to run it from the server. What I'm going to do is I'm directly going to the HTML file. And here is our test space. I'm going to run it without any server. So we will be sure that it's no um, so whatsoever. Uh, What is this? Just do it. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on get products. We have the products. This is what exactly we are expecting, right? So, if you will see the JSON response, uh, let's go here. Let's copy this URL. And I think I'm already I'm already coming here. So, see the order is one zero three two one zero four one eight one zero four three one and 10480 and if you see in our application that's what we have 
So this is how it is working. So uh, mainly we have to configure things as a service side, and using jQuery we have to just you know we have to send an Ajax request, uh, specifying the URL, the type, and uh, the process to, uh, if, uh, and the data type. Then if in success, how we are going to use that data which we are retrieving from the service. And if it is failing, then we are just going to show a simple you know, error message. So that is that is really simple. The main configuration is on the service side and using Ajax uh, jQuery request, you have to specify the URL, the type of uh, whether it is state or post, then the content type and then you know, um, success, what do you want to do? So this is pretty much it. Uh, this, uh, you know, this is a bit of faces. So, uh, I mean, I know a few of the places uh, we have not written all the code. Uh, I have just copy pasted it so that we can save a lot of time. So if you want the complete code, uh, feel free to go to my website 3 and you can find the complete code with the solutions over there. Just remember, to get this code working, you need to install uh, the North Point database on your SP server. So that is one thing. Then uh, you and developing this one using you know Visual Studio 2012. If you are Visual Studio 2010, just edit the solution file and make it the version as 11 so that you just work fine. And uh, uh, this is pretty much it. So just uh, please visit thrishap.net and you know. Uh, you can find all this code and step-by-step -step explanation of this uh, demonstration over there. So I'm going to explain everything over there step-by-step -step and I'm going to go get the code snippets so you can play with it. And also if you like something about this video, feel free to like. And if you don't like something, please, please feel free to you know, comment in my website or right here in the YouTube uh, comment section if you don't like anything. And if you have any doubts, any ambiguities, please, please do the same thing. Write a comment uh, and let us know your response. So that would be really helpful. I hope you like this video. I'm trying really hard to you know, get you videos like this, which will help me and uh, help you as well as a developer. So if you like my videos, uh, keep watching it. And please uh, feel free to subscribe. That will really impress me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.